Hey everybody, Salty Sobey here. Uh, so we're going to get back into doing some first impressions once in a while because I like doing first impression videos of especially of like little indies and games that maybe I never got around to playing when they were, you know, fresh. Uh, so we're going to start with Octopath Traveler. I mean, uh, Septa Road Voyager. Uh, definitely, I, I don't know if they're paying homage or if, oh, you know what, it doesn't matter. Scepter Road Voyager, Infinite Roads. All right, so we're gonna start a new game. I did play. I actually just recorded a video that that the it it the game didn't freeze, but my recording software froze. So we're starting over. <laughs> we are starting completely over. So oh, that's a name. Um, the character randomizer is switching between male and female, and it will randomize both the name and the appearance of your character. Um, so we're going to be a uh, female. You've got a few different skin tone colors uh, that you can choose from. Hair color is the same. You've got like, I think five. Oh no, ten. It's ten hair colors. My bad. All right, so we're going to make her normal. We're just going to give her brown hair. Hairstyles, I believe they're like three or four. Yeah. Couple of short, one mid. I mean, uh, one long. Alright, uh, so it gives you bangs colors before it gives you bangs, so we're going to check it. There's only like two or three bangs. There's two. So we're going to do that one, and we're also going to make them brown, because it's weird not to. To each their own, though. Facial features, you've got nothing. Um, a scar, an eye patch, and some freckles. So we're going to go with nothing. Um, so before we start, I do want to say this. This game is in early access. Um, I don't think that it's fair to do a full review on a game that's in early access that is very early in early access. The game just came out, um, I think like two weeks ago in early access. Um, so that being said, I will talk about my feelings about the game, but I'm not going to go like full on review of a game that's not ready for a review, right? So we're just going to accept the name. You can change it, but we're just going to accept Rona. What is this place? Where am I? Those are good questions. Unfortunately, I don't have time to answer them in detail right now. Is this really happening, or am I dreaming? Both. A dream doesn't have to be less, than, less real than waking. But that's a discussion for another time. Please follow me. Please follow me. There is much I need to tell you, and I cannot stay here long. Alright, so this is just our movement, uh, WASD. Anytime a pop-up comes up like this, all you have to do is just click anywhere outside the pop-up and it comes off and it goes away. Uh, speaking of, you can remap keys. You can rebind all of your keys. I've actually already done that. Interact was like space and map was M. Uh, so I've swapped those. Um, but, I mean, it's it's nice that that's an option. I, I appreciate that in a game because not everyone can do the same things. You know, I mean, not everyone can have their... We're going to turn that down just a little bit. I feel like that's kind of loud. Maybe it wasn't, but it was to me, okay? Oh, uh, return to game. Uh, it's so hard for me to keep my mind in two places at once. I must keep concentrating. No, they're breaking through. I I'm sorry. I must close the tear. I'll be back as soon as I can. No, wait! Where are you going? What's going on here? What are these things? Alright, uh, so this is our attack tutorial, uh, which I will show you. Alright, so I'm gonna- oh, oh, it's attacking me! Well... Alright, so we're going to attack. That is Shadow Gamma. We are going to go ahead and pick him. We've got an attack bar down here, which, to be honest, I feel is way too slow in the early game. I mean, maybe later that doesn't feel as bad because you'll have more than one character. Um, but right now, it feels super bad. And I mean, I get it. If that's... how it, it, if it gets better if you just kind of have to deal with it for now that's i mean it is what it is you know because and that is and i will say this a few times uh in this video uh final fantasy 12 there are a few things that i feel like they're literally just just 
picked up out of 12, moved over to Scepter Road Voyager, and plopped down. And I realized you guys could not see my hand movements. My apologies. All right, let's keep going. Um, yeah, so I want to talk about the visuals here for a minute. Um, the visuals are not bad. Uh, the animations are a little rough, but it's, I mean, look at the game. Look at the style of the game, you know? So it doesn't feel bad, right? I'm sorry, you're not ready, and I don't have more time to explain. I'm going to need your help very soon. You and six more make seven heroes who will need to be ready. For now, you must go. Gather and prepare. I will visit you again soon. Um. Well, let's finish this. What a strange dream. It must have been a dream. But then, why am I covered with scratches? Maybe I scratched myself in my sleep and dreamed that I was fighting monsters? Um, so, back to the visuals for a second. The, for what it is, the game looks good, right? And by for what it is, I don't mean for an indie game. I mean for this style of game, I like the visuals. I think that they are pleasant. Uh, so basically, this is just telling you about your skill board, um, which we will get into. Uh, again, Final Fantasy XII just picked up, plopped down into Scepter Road Voyager. Um, and, you know, that's not a criticism, you know, I, I hope that if the developer ever sees this video, he doesn't take it as a criticism, or she, uh, because it's not. It was a good system. All right, so you can, I was, yeah, it was scroll. So here is your skill board. And we are going to go ahead and pick the sword, because I know that you get a sword. Because I did play long enough to at least determine that uh, I knew what the controls were. Um, so I actually played until I got my first, to the first, like, town. Not the first little place, but, like, the, the, the actual town. So, you'll see. Oops, return to game. Um. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got our save point and our healing well. So we are going to save... And, oh, you know what? Before we hit the, wheeling, the healing well, I do have a complaint about the attack system. I mean, yes, it feels slow, but again, if that gets better, then it's hard to adjust the early game without affecting the end game. And I get that. Uh, but in your attack menu, you can actually attack and then pick yourself. And look, my action bar is filling up. And I have now attacked myself. I think that needs to be removed because in the heat of battle if you misclick and you damage yourself you could kill yourself in combat why well, can't they go away and then my other kind of complaint is that when you approach someone it is a little bit picky. Like, I'm I'm right next to him. And I can't... I can't interact with him. I've got to have this pop-up up, which is a little finicky. Um, overall, though, the way that interaction works is not terrible. It just It's a little finicky, right? So we're going to come over here and we're going to kill some turkeys. Um, we need another turkey. What do we need? Five turkeys, I think. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're gonna go kill this turkey. Yep, oh, we're gonna go kill this turkey now. I love how the stuff just, like, pops out of them and just uh, magically goes into your pockets. Not a complaint, that's an actual, not, that's not sarcasm or anything. I actually do like that you don't have to pick up the drops. That they automatically just absorb into your pockets. Am I next to it? I guess so. 
because it just attacked me. And since we're out here, we're going to kill Turkey Beta, too. All right. Let's go back. Whoops. We'll go back, and I do believe that this nice gentleman here gives me my sword. All right, Farmer Murray, yep, we get a sword and a buckler. And 50 florins. Here, and, here are an old sword and shield. I think you can make better use of them than I can. If you don't know how to use them yet, you can unlock the appropriate skill on the skill board. Oh, and I just remembered. Your friend came looking for you while you were fighting those turkeys. New quest available. All right, so we're going to do find your friend. Uh, your friend came looking for you. She said she would wait at her home down the path. Uh, find trainer. If you're going to leave the village, I recommend that you visit the tactics trainer first. So we don't have a lot of money to shop at the tactics trainer, if we're being honest. Party. Equipment. We are going to, oops, we are going to use the sword. Uh, actually, we need to, in a party, unlock skill. We gotta unlock the buckler before we can use it. And uh, we have a little bit, we have 11 SP, so let's. I don't know, like, okay. Another thing learn ability bravery. But what does it do? You gotta, you gotta give me some details here. Like, I would love to unlock bravery if I knew what it was, right? Because otherwise I'm just going in blind. Oh, that's a helm. Alright, so I guess we're going to go with armor because more armor is always good, right? Um, equipment, we can equip our... Oh, we could equip the short dagger as our offhand. Oh, let's go defense. Let's be smart. And then we don't have anything else to equip, so let's go ahead and return to game, and we'll go down the path and find our friend. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Hopefully we're going down the right path. Looks kind of familiar. Yeah, it is. Definitely the right path. So we're going to get in here, we're going to find our healing well and our save point, or no, we're going to find our save point, yeah, here we go. Uh, because the game crashed last time and I don't want that to happen again and have to start all over. Oops. Alright, so we can talk to him, but we're not going to talk to him, we're just going to, we're just going to get them. Uh, your friend came looking for you, okay, so that's the same thing I said before. Uh, now that you've helped the farmer with his turkey problem, we can go have some fun. Talk to me again to add me to the party. Join party. And then you can actually, you get to design your friend. It's the same things that we had. So, we're going to make him a blonde. That hairstyle is totally fine. And we're not going to give him freckles, though. So, from the way that it sounds, so then you now have a party member, you can use star and Q. I thought it was E and Q. You can use star and Q to switch control from one party member to another. I could have sworn it said E and Q, though. Okay, so it is E and Q. And I did not change that. Oh, wow, that was creepy when we got stuck, when we were inside of each other. Uh, you know, the old, hen the old hedge wizard said he had something for me. Do you mind if we go talk to him and see what he has? I mean, I'm in control here, so Cal... Kalian is just coming with me regardless of whether or not he wants to. I don't know. I gotta ask him. That's how I feel about that. Alright, we got him, so we're gonna save. I'm, I am saving repeatedly because 
Like that one that one crash. And I, I don't necessarily think that it was like a problem with the game. I think it just I mean games crash once in a while, you know? It could have been Steam that crashed. So from our first shop we can buy uh looks like some food, some beverages, and some potions. And actually, so the item descriptions are actually really, really good from what I've seen. Right? It applies the status well fed, removes all other instances of well fed. Now, I don't know what well-fed does, but at least once I figure out what well-fed does, the item tells me exactly what it does. You know what I mean? Oh, wait. I wonder, is well-fed... No, well-fed can't be for 10 minutes max HP 400 regenerate. That's got to be the item itself. Wow, he's got a status for each individual food, like... Refreshed Mugicha, refreshed berry juice. It gives you a status, an individual status for each one. But it do, It even says it removes all other instances of, of well-fed. That seems like a lot of work, though. Alright. I mean, not for me. For him. Or her. I don't know if the developer is male or female. All right, so we are going to check for quests from the hunter, bring plain feathers. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and accept that. I need to replenish my arrows. Can you bring me some plain feathers for fletching? Yes, sir, we can. And look at that. We already have six because of our turkey killing. Oops. Uh, there are lots of monsters out there in the woods. You'll need to be careful. You'll also need to use different tactics against different monsters. Flying monsters, for example, are hard to hit with melee weapons. You'll need to use bows, guns, or throwing knives against them. And slimes cannot be harmed with regular weapons. You'll need to use magic against them. I mean, since we pulled it up, we were going to go ahead and read it. Let's go ahead and complete 500 florins. Holy good lord. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, can we do it again? Interesting. Repeatable quest. It does say repeatable right there. All right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and pick it back up because if we're out there and we get them, we might as well, right? Oh, we don't need a healing well, so we're not even going to bother. Farmer Glen. Oh, please help me. Someone has cast a spell on my pumpkin crop and now all my pumpkins are attacking me. Can you go defeat the angry pumpkins for me? Yes, sir, we can. Yes, sir, we can. As soon as I find this NPC that I'm supposed to be talking to. I feel like there was... No, no, no. There was definitely another villager. This is where I stopped, though. Um, I got my... my Like, yesterday when I kind of played a little bit to get the controls. I stopped... Oh, here we go. I stopped after I got this guy and found that hedge wizard. There we go. Here he is. That I was supposed to find. Alright, so research, uh, we have nothing worth researching. So we're going to go ahead and do quests. We're going to pick up our old wand quest. The hedge wizard said he had something for me. Do you mind if I if we go see what it is? Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I guess I accepted that quest before I knew it. I'm <clears throat> I bought a new wand in Sunrise Falls. I couldn't decide what to do with the old one. Then I remembered you two fools. Dang. You'll need a magic wand for dealing with those pesky skullbirds and those nigh-indestructible slimes. Just don't shoot your eye out with it. If you don't know how to use the wand, yeah, yeah, we know that. Alright, so let's make sure that this dude can... Well, let's go to the shop first. See what he's got. So, again, potions. He has an initiate wand. It does keep track of whether or not you own something, which is nice. Uh, because this way, you know... If you're here looking and you go, oh, what wand do I have? Well, I know I have the initiate wand. It's a minor thing, but it's nice. All right, so he doesn't sell tactics. So we're going to find the tactics shop. Now, this is the smith, so this isn't going to be him, but we're going to look anyway. Yeah, so that's more uh, equipment that we can buy. Here we go. Here's the tactics shop. Tactics. Buy tactics. So we've got 550 florins, but they're expensive. And these are, I mean, you can't tell me this is not Final Fantasy 12. 
But again, I mean, it was a good system. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Uh, let's go ahead and do leader's target so that they're attacking what I'm attacking. We'll do enemy flying. All right, so that's good enough for now. Now, here's the real thing. I did not set up tactics, so this is going to be an experience for both me and you. Oh, we get enemy nearest. Beautiful. So some of them you can get from quests. That's good. That's good to know. Give me one second here. I'm glad you came to see me. I heard that you are on your way to explore the world. The, the world can be a dangerous place. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you are to stay safe out there. Remember to set your tactics in the party menu and enable tactics to let your party members make their own decisions in combat. All right. So, and like, like there's even, you can't see me touching the screen. Even the color scheme. I love it. Like, I mean, for real, it, if, if the developer is watching this video, please understand these are not complaints when I talk about Final Fantasy XII. It was a good system. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, uh, please. I'm, I'm not complaining. I may say it a million times in this video, but it is not a complaint. Okay? But it's an obvious comparison. Um, okay, so the characters in your party can choose their own actions during combat. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it, it literally is. If you played Final Fantasy XII, you're going to be fine here. If not, this is a really awesome system. Um, I mean, hopefully it's done, it's, it's implemented properly. It, I mean, it, it certainly looks like it is, uh, party tactics. Okay. We don't want Rona though. I want the other one. There we go. Whoops. Oops, oops, oops. So there's a problem with, with clicking outside of the window. You can accidentally, you know, un unselect what you want. Uh, Target enemy, leader's target, attack. Can I do it? I can't do another one. Tactics are on. So I guess we should actually do... Well, no, that's fine. We're just going to have to do that. We, we don't have... I mean, I've got the ability to, to target flying, but all I can do is attack. I can't actually do uh, skills. So that's fine. Let's go. So now he's going to automatically attack. If I didn't set up tactics, that's Farmer Glenn. Oh, I wonder if the pumpkins are this way, though. Um, if I didn't set up tactics, then I would actually have to swap to him and pick an attack, like a mob to attack and an attack each time. So it basically, what the tactic system does is it's it's going to automate my party members. Oh, I found a slime. Well, that's... Oh, let's try. Let's see if he can... Let's see if he's got anything other than... Oh, well, no, he's not going to because I didn't I didn't equip his wand. Equipment. Can I do that in combat? Oh, I didn't give him the ability to equip the wand. Hmm. Equipment, initiate wand. Apparently, I can do that in combat. Shocking, actually. Why is he not attacking? Where is he going? Wow. Alright, so she's useless right now. So the combat system needs a little a little love. I'll have to once we kill this slime, I'll have to see what happened. Why, uh and see, this would be super frustrating if they were both attacking because he's running away. The slime's following one of them. But if the slime's following him, then it's running away from her who needs to do melee.
That would be super annoying. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's pull our stuff back up. Tactics. Oh, because it's off. There we go. All right. Now let's... Okay, so that was my fault. Slimes are rough though, so we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with them. What is this? Oh, but I can't attack that either. I mean, I can't, but he can. He's still not attacking. Okay, let's check again before we... Tactics are on. That is on. I guess let's go ahead and turn hers on. Just for good measure. Okay, we'll swap back to her. There's the pumpkins. Yeah, he's just standing there like a doofus. And now, because now hers is working. Because she's over there attacking the nearest. Oh god, you're aggroing more, you doof. Oh yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I am not okay with this. He's gonna die. Look at this. He oh no, 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 no. We get to go. Come on, Rona. And then it goes from, I, from, I, what's, I don't remember what 10 is, but it goes, then it just goes number 11. Okay, so the tactic system is, is, is borked. I'm sorry. It is borked. Let me try again and make sure I didn't mess anything up, though. Well, enemy, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I do... Because maybe she's not, like, party leader. Maybe that's the problem. So let's just do nearest. Okay, but we need, we need him to be healed. Because he is almost dead and we have no healer. Alright. Let's swap to her, because hers was working. Interesting. I wonder, how do you designate a quote-unquote party leader? Is it who you are controlling? Doesn't appear to be, or if it is, then, part, then enemy leader target is, is not working. Okay, and their tactic. Oh no! See now he's now he's functional. Okay, so either leader target is not working, or my character is not the leader. Now see, this is much better. This feels better. going after that pumpkin head but now unfortunately now she is oh there we go now she's moving again oh does that cleave oh what nice All right, let's get some see if we can get some feathers out here too
If not, we can go up and get um, a couple of turkeys, I guess. Might as well kill these. What are you doing over there? There we go. He's, well, whatever he's doing, he's attacking, so I'm good with that. Okay. Alright, so the tactics system is, is a little finicky, but it does function. I was getting a little worried there for a minute. Okay, we need, I think we need one, oh, whoa, we, we didn't get any plane feathers, so we'll just go back. After we kill these alpha and beta pumpkins. Like, overall, the game is enjoyable, right? That's not to say that it doesn't have some little quirks that, that need to be worked out, but the game's enjoyable. Boom. Oh, we did not get it. No, hang on. I definitely saw a plain feather go into my inventory. Maybe. I thought. Let's save. Uh, have we gotten ourselves lost? I don't remember there being a save point out here. What am I? Okay, I'm attacking that one. I don't know what I'm attacking. Okay. Oops. Now that, that, oh wait, maybe this is the way? No, that's the top of the map. Okay, so that had to be the way. Did I walk past the save point and not realize it? Or is that the save point at the edge of town? I don't know. I don't know, we're just, we're rolling with it, we're going in. Or, we're not. I mean, the map's not that big. How did I get myself lost? Let's pull up the map. Alright, let's get ourselves back over this way. Okay, that's... No, 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 no. Oh, okay, well, we're attacking that slime now. Now, see, there's the downside to the way that I have the tactics set up. What is that? It's not attackable. Hmm. Now see, that's a plain feather. Oh, now we've got five. Okay. Well, whatever. Alright. We gotta figure out where we're at. We're he here. But see, here's, let's see, here's the thing. I don't know where town is. We're gonna follow this path. Oh, okay, I see what happened. Might as well kill him. Why not? Experience is experience. Come on now. No! Okay. Alright, come on, Kylian. We're just running now. Unless we... Well, no, we don't need the Skullbirds anymore either. 
Okay, yeah, this is definitely the way back. <laughs> like, the map's not that big. How did we get lost? Okay, we'll turn this in, get ourselves some more monies, and we'll accept it again because we might get more. Uh, who was the other guy? It was down this way, wasn't it? Does that mean he's got a quest for me to turn in? I don't know. No. It wasn't you. Wasn't it this one? No. Who wanted these pumpkins? Oh, it was him. No, it wasn't. This is something completely different. My blacksmith friend in Sunrise Falls wants you to try out some new tools. Can you deliver these to him? Sure. No idea where Sunrise Falls is, but I will deliver them, my friend. I will deliver them. Oh, wait. It was this guy. Duh. The farmer. Those pumpkins just keep coming. I'll bet that scary fellow with a pumpkin for a head has something to do with it. Aw, oh, dang it, we already killed him. Let's go back out there and kill pumpkin head again. Hopefully he respawns. I mean, I would imagine everything else did. Let's see, is he, he's by one of these little houses. Oh, but he was up this way by the house. There he is, okay, he does indeed respawn. Oops. Oh, he's up there. Well, it's alright. We'll take these two out and then we'll go after him. I don't know why my attack failed there. My other guy leveled up again. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that guy hits hard. No, no, no. Just keep on going, my friend. Okay, well, we find we get to find out now uh, what happens when uh, one of your party member dies. Can't save because I'm in combat. And we went the wrong way again. Apparently he's got other plans. So I was wrong about the items. They don't just like pop into your inventory. You do have to go grab them. Which is still not a big deal. It's pretty typical. I was enjoying when I was close combat. When they were just popping right into my inventory. No, we are not killing that slime. Nor that one. You have a dead party member, dude. Run back to town with your tail between your legs. I almost wish that movement was not WASD. I mean, I'm glad that it is, don't get me wrong. Uh, actually, hold on, let's uh, make sure that she's alive before we turn that in. Because I don't know if she'll get experience if she's not alive. And uh, I don't want to find out right now. Alright, we defeated Pumpkinhead. During all that commotion with the pumpkins, I think someone must have kidnapped my wife. Oh, dude. Dude, you are killing me here, man.
You are extra super needy, my friend. Talk to the hedge wizard. Well, let's go talk to the hedge wizard and then we'll heal him. Her. Alright. Complete. Melina is missing, you say? And this map is the only clue to her disappearance? Let's research this map and try to find her. Okay, so apparently this is our research tutorial. I'll help you with your research just this once until we find Melina. Oh, excuse me. Throughout the world, you will learn legends and clues. A legend will tell you will tell of a hidden dungeon full of danger and treasure. Clues will help you to find these dungeons. To get clues, go to a library. Select search for clues. Then convert your inventory items into clues. Hmm. Next, select research no research quest. There will be. Learn to read. There you will select a legend and place clues on the map. Different clues will change the difficulty and treasure level of a dungeon. Wow. Add clues to the map until you have found a path to the dungeon. Interesting. Okay, but did you do it? Search for clues. Okay. Find certain objects such as maps. Okay. So we got these clues. Now, research quest. Uh, I think maybe we should go with planes. No? I don't understand. I definitely don't want to go to cave. Let's do farm. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. There's a- you can see the picture behind it. I thought it was just like fruitful on the map. Oh, oh, I understand now. I'm a special flower. It's okay. That's actually kind of cool. Quest started. A new dungeon has been marked on your map. Oh god, I've got to use the map. Okay, we'll exit here. We'll walk away from him. Map. Okay, so we're here. So it's back to the east. Alright, let's go do this dungeon and then we will call it for our first impressions video. But I want to do this dungeon first. I want to check it out. So depending on how long the video, the, uh, how long the dungeon is, the video might run kind of long. Because it's already, I was, I was getting ready to, to wrap up. I was going to go to the next town and wrap it up. But since we've got this dungeon, I feel like we have to go to the dungeon, you know? So to get out of the map, you've got to click outside of the... Like, it, it's like a regular box that pops up. Nope. Come on, Rona. We're not doing that. No. It, like, overrode my directions. Okay, well, apparently we're killing this stuff.
Hopefully there's a healing well near the dungeon because there's a lot of mobs over here. And they don't... They, these pumpkins don't seem to lose aggro. They're just like, nah, we're coming. Nobody's, nobody's going to address this half-dead pumpkin here. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can zoom in. Alright. Uh, but I... I can't... Okay. So... We're not in the right place? I think it's down this way. Okay, well, there's a save. So we'll save. And I know I'm, like, committing a cardinal sin there by overriding my save over and over. What? Okay, yeah, I think we're, I think we're going the right way. These rocks are too much. I, if I'm too close to them, I can't see anything that is going on on my screen. And now he's broken. Now he's not attacking. What? How did tactics get turned off? I must have accidentally clicked it. Alright, so while we are looking for this dungeon, I will talk about my initial thoughts. Uh, I don't like the combat system. It's clunky. I mean, like, as you can see, I, I must have accidentally turned off my tactics, which shouldn't be a thing that I can do. Um, I think, is this where we're supposed to, yeah, hidden, well, hidden cave, so hidden path, going with it. There's a boss at the end. Um... Yeah, I shouldn't be able to accidentally turn off my tactics. Not, like, I, I don't think it should necessarily confirm because that can get irritating. But you really, sh you're not going to be turning off your tactics all that much. So maybe a confirmation or maybe it, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not on that menu at all. It almost feels like the initial thought was turn-based combat, and then it was decided to do like a Final Fantasy XII ATB kind of style. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know the depths, so. Oh my. That's less than awesome. I mean, we are kind of overleveled. No idea what level we are, but we are kind of overleveled. Are you serious? Oh, I see. Okay. I understand the way the map is, is functioning here. I wonder if these are procedurally generated. Let's 
let's see. You know, I looked at, God, I looked at so many indie games. I can't remember if this one said it was pre, uh, procedurally generated or not. Holy cow, a lot of spiders. So you do get full health when you level, which is good because... Am I stuck here? That is not the next area. And if they are procedurally generated, can you get soft locked? There we go, there's an area I haven't been to. Yeah, can the game bork and, and soft lock you? I really want to get to this boss. That's But like this dungeon, like if you look at the map, each each of these like areas is a chunk on the map. That is I mean, if these are all filled in, that is huge. That's where we came in. Ah, there we go. Wow, that was so close. So we definitely want to go up. It'd be nice if we could just go in a straight path right up to the boss from here. I mean, like, honestly, I'm enjoying this game. This is a cute little... You know, indie RPG that definitely, I, whether you know, it definitely play, p plays, pays homage to Final Fantasy XII, which is another RPG that I loved. I mean, it either pays homage or just outright stole the mechanics, which I am going with pays homage. I mean, honestly, I'd like to see more from this developer. I think this is a good start. I think this is definitely very early in in early access. But like I said, from what I read, the developer is actually uh, receptive to criticism and, um, you know, ideas that could improve the game. From the, I haven't seen that firsthand. It's just what I read. Uh, but I will definitely keep an eye. Oop. Well, that's... Can, can you attack those, Kylian? You can. No, 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 ma'am. You can't. Okay. So I'm thinking I gotta go up to that bridge. Yeah, here we go. Um, I will definitely keep an eye on this game. We will revisit this if, uh, if early access continues to get updates. Well, I guess not continues, because, you know, it just came out a couple weeks ago, but... If it gets updates and, and there are uh, changes made to the game, we will definitely revisit. So, the video is definitely running a little bit longer than I would have liked. But, that's okay, because I want to see how this dungeon ends. Now, if these are procedurally generated, then, I mean, there's nothing you can do about these rocks. But if, if they're not procedurally generated, some of these rocks completely obfuscate your view. Like, I didn't even know there were mobs there. Come on, Rona. And like even now, like my my initial complaint about the slowness of the the combat with a second character, just that has improved the way that it feels. I mean, obviously it doesn't make us any faster, but there are two of us now, so it just it feels faster. 
So I guess we're gonna end up with, uh, you know, the first hour of gameplay, I suppose. Slightly different video. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're one tile away. Do we need to go up? No oh, we can't. Are you serious? We're, we gotta go another way. Oh, that is full of suck. And there's only one way out of here. We gotta go back where we came from. I wonder if all those mobs respawn. I think we're just gonna run. I wanna see the boss, but this video is already getting longer than, than I would have liked. How did I get here? Is that, no. Oh no, we're at the side, so it couldn't be. Oh, here we go. Um. Yeah, so I guess while we are trekking our way to the boss, we will talk about how I feel about the game so far. Like I said, it's, it's, I, I feel like it's very early in early access. Um, so a full review is not fair. Um, so I will just briefly talk about what I have observed so far. Uh, the combat system leaves a little to be desired. It does. But... That being said, there are some great bones here. And like, as you get, did we go across another bridge? I don't think we, yeah, we probably did. So mobs do respawn, which is super inconvenient for me right now. Um, yeah, there's, there's great bones here. The story is... I mean, I've only seen a tiny fragment of the story, so I don't really think I can judge the story at this point. Um, what I've seen was decent. Whoa, we gotta go that way again? Yeah, this is, uh... We're just, we're skipping right past all of this. We're already, like, a little bit higher level than we probably should be anyway. Okay, we can go up now. I think this dungeon, for a, for a first dungeon, this dungeon is massive. I am going to be so mad if I have to go back. Now, like, normally, okay, normally I would not be skipping all of this. But because I want to get this boss in the video, I am skipping all of this. And it's all just spiders. It's not like we have anything, you know, any, like, new interesting mobs here that were, like you know, avoiding. Oh, whoops. My bad. No, come on, guys. Let's go. Um, you better let me go through. That's all I got to say. Um, and I, I know I've said this already in the video, but the visuals, I, I love it. Like I said, the animation is... Oh my god, stop. The animation's a little rough, but... I think it kind of adds a little bit to the feel of the game. How do I get up there? Oh, there we go. I don't think it detracts from it. Um... What else? The music? The music is pretty good. I don't know how well the music is coming through on the video because I like to keep music kind of low so that 
I can be heard over the music, but the music is pretty good. It's very, like, relaxing. We're about to see a boss, so hopefully the music kind of... And then, like, when you join, when you enter combat, the music kind of speeds up a little bit, kind of gets a little more, you know, intense. Alright, so we are in the boss room. Alright, our health is pretty decent, which is good, because I don't think I bought any potions. Do we have any potions? Let's... No, wrong button. Inventory. We got a lot of junk. I did not buy any potions, and therefore we do not have any potions. Oh wait, they're separate. Oh, we got pumpkin soup. Wow. Uh, let's eat a pumpkin How do we eat a pumpkin soup? Uh, party? Use item? Pumpkin soup? Oops, I didn't want to use two. Well, now we did. Oh, except... <sighs> Does the regen work? No. Yes, okay. So let's regen, and then we'll go into the boss. Um, so that, that works. I'll, I'll keep talking. Um, yeah, the, the music is really nice. It's very, like, when you're not in combat, when, like, standing right here, it's very, like, calming. You know, it's just kind of like, yeah, you know, yeah, you're playing a game. You're just kind of standing around doing nothing, so here you go. And when you get into combat, it kind of gets a little more intense. Um, we're about to see a boss. Hopefully the boss music is different from the regular combat music. Won't be upset if it's not, but it would be kind of a nice little touch. Um, the combat, I think, needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, not so much the combat itself, because it already feels better, but the tactics, I think, maybe need to be uh, tweaked just a little bit. Like, maybe it's not registering me as the party leader, perhaps, was the problem. I don't know. But it was a little, a little funky there. Um, what else? <sighs> overall mechanics of the game, uh, you know, again, it's, it's, it's early access, so all of that could change, but overall mechanics, I don't feel like they're that bad. Um, we're about to see boss mechanics, so that's going to be interesting. Um, right now, would I play the game fully? No, I, I don't think the game is ready for me to play, to devote, you know, five or ten hours to playing the whole entire game um, in its current state but that being said there are good bones here I think this could be a really nice little indie RPG let's go oh we got spiders on the way to the boss am I am I broken okay well we'll find out I guess Why am I not attacking? Well, I mean, now I'm waiting for my ATB. And he's faster. Oh, this guy. He's faster, so, yeah, I'm not going to attack anything. All right, oop. Well, let's get our drop. We're not leaving our drop, our small spider fang. Oh. Yeah, I'm not attacking. Uh, tactics. Let's see what happened. I mean, it's on. They're both on. Alright. Let's see. Let's find this big bad boss. Are you serious? Oh, uh couple of criticisms. Uh, the, the combat system needs a little tweaking. This dungeon is far too large, I feel, for a uh, first dungeon. And, and maybe that's just me personally, but it's, it's quite large. See, it, okay, so I am attacking. As soon as I was ready to attack, it walked away. But yeah, this, this is, this is big. And I'm, I'm not stupid. We're gonna, <laughs> We're going to save in a different slot. Is that the boss? 
I'm gonna say it is. That that pumpkin soup is OP. Oh, he's a mob. Now, granted, I think I, honestly, I think that we are over leveled. I don't think that we should be quite this level. I maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, I I got a, a few levels out there on those pumpkins. I think so. Difficulty wise. If it weren't for the size, this would be a nice first dungeon. But this this place is just too big. Who are you? How did you find me here? What? My husband sent you. And I went to all of that effort enchanting pumpkins to cover my escape. Oh. That's right. I ran away. I hate farming. And pumpkin farming is worst of all. But my husband must really love me if he wanted to, if he wanted me found this much. All right, I'll go back and talk things over with him. I love him too, but we are gonna have to grow something besides pumpkins. <laughs> okay. Now, no, 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 no! Don't tell me we gotta walk all the way back. No, 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 no! Okay, nope, those are drops. I thought that was something, uh... Will you- will you send me back to town, lady? No. And this is not an exit. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not- I'm not okay with that. <laughs> I am sorry, but I am not okay with that. Is there like a teleporter? There's no, there's no way to teleport. Okay, we're gonna save the game. We're just gonna save over this one. Give me an exit in the dungeon. Please give me an exit in the dungeon. Don't make me walk back through all of that. Like, if I were to walk back right now, right? I've gotta walk back through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these tiles to get back out of the dungeon. Too much. Um, too much. But yeah, I, it's so, you know, and I know I've said this already, but it's in early access. Uh, this is Scepter Road Voyager. It takes a lot of mechanics from Final Fantasy XII and brings them into the game which i think is really nice um it's something that i'm familiar with um and if done well i think it could really complement the mechanics that are already here the bones that are here i like the dungeon mechanics like how you find the dungeon like that was cute the little research and the clue excuse me and the clues that was a nice i i personally have not played a game that does that i there may be one that i just haven't gotten around to playing yet but i liked that um, the game is decent. Like, this is not a bad little game. Now, I will say this. It is $25 in early access on Steam, which at this point in the game, I think is a little bit pricey. I mean, I get it. You gotta, you gotta develop the game. You gotta have money to develop the game. I understand that. Um, I think that's a little pricey for a game that's this early in early access. Would I pay $25 for it? No, probably not. Um, 15, 10 or 15 dollars. Yeah, I think I would pay that and, and not be upset about it. Um, speaking of, uh, I did get a key from the developer for free. Um, so that is why I, you know, reviewed the game today. Um, all of my opinions in this video are my own. Uh, and I mean, I was not, you know, rainbows and unicorns. I, I did have some criticisms for the game. Um, and you know, getting the key for free didn't affect my opinion at all. Um... That being said, there are good bones here, and I will revisit this game after a few updates to see what changed and, you know, if it's improved or, or anything like that. Uh, so this was a first impressions video, so we'll have to do a second impressions video once there's been a couple of updates, uh, but we will revisit. Uh, because I actually enjoyed this game. I, I had a good time. I'm not going to walk back out of this dungeon because it's just not going to happen, but... 
we'll start over next time. We'll see what changes. We'll see, you know, if the developer is paying attention to the people that are reviewing the game. Um, actually, the reviews on Steam are actually pretty good. There were a couple of negative reviews, but there were a handful of positive reviews. People seem to be enjoying the game. Uh, it's, it's not bad. So... On a scale of 1 to 10, it's early access. I'm not comfortable giving it a number. Good bones. Couple of criticisms. But... Anyway, I know this video ran a little bit long. And, and I do apologize for that. Um, hopefully the developer, you know, sees this video. And, uh, and he or she listens to the feedback that they are getting from the community, from the YouTubers that have been playing the game. Um, yeah, but uh, good work. I, if you are watching this, you're the developer, really good work. I mean, I, I think that you have a winner here. With a little bit of tweaking, I think you could have a real gem here. Uh, so that being said, everybody, thank you for watching the video. I very much appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please make sure you hit the like button because it really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more kind of first impressions video, if you want to see my second impressions video, this one, hopefully a couple months from now, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you always know when we post a new video. And this has been Salty Sorbet for a first impressions of Scepter Road Traveler. Scepter Road Voyager, I apologize. Scepter Road Voyager. And, uh... Hopefully I see you guys in the next video.